Welcome back, everybody. This happened when I got my 50 ring outs. Apparently. I don't know if that pop-up happened and I actually called it out or not. Maybe I did, I'm not sure. Uh, it was less people had it when I did it, but yeah, more people are getting it. That's, that's good. That's very good, but let me go down here. Yeah, patch notes right here. There might be a better way to do the show off the patch notes, but I'm a little short on time, so I'm just gonna read these. There may be a better website one. But, like, whatever. I'm just gonna do it this way. For this time. It's patch 101, so we'll see if they made the changes I wanted for some of this stuff. I'm really guessing they're not going to for certain ones, but... Anyway, we wanted to take a moment to thank you all for helpful feedback on Reddit, Discord, and our other social media channels. We're d d diligently consuming all of your suggestions, and we'll be making a number of changes based on the info we've gathered following the launch. Yeah, I wondered, I was saying, like, it's, I think it has been three days, where I was saying, like... Did they do a secret patch change to these characters? It wasn't a secret one. I just somehow missed it. In all my other game feed of the games. Unfortunately. Before we dive into various fixes and improvements coming in this patch, we wanted to mention that Iron Giant has been taken back to the shop for maintenance and is not available to play right now. What? We should have a status update by next week. What? They removed Iron Giant? Was he just overpowered in that video when he was wrecking me? I haven't heard this since Emperor Palpatine was removed from Star Wars Battlefront 2. This is something they should never do, in my opinion. You can't be that level of incompetent. You cannot be that level of incompetent. No serious game that survives is that level of incompetent. If you've heard of this happening in, st in any Street Fighter ever, let me know. Because, yeah, in, in that case, then the game survived. But, or, although, di or did they? Because there's Street Fighter VI now we're at. Um, seven in the works, probably. We're also planning to address several highly, or whatever they're going to name the next one. It could be Street Fighter, like, here we go now for uh, Street Fighting. Street Fighter VI Street Fighting is probably what they, <laughs> whatever new title Street Fighter adds. Um, we're also planning to address several highly requested changes soon such as additional performance improvements, end-of-game stats, options to turn off team colors. Wait, they did mention that they're going to add options to turn off team colors. The ability to swap side and neutral attacks. What does that mean? What does that mean? The ability to swap side and neutral attacks. Oh, I, see. I think I know what they're saying. I actually might like this, actually, this input. Because I was saying, like, Batman has no... Um, I was just saying this in the in a few videos ago. Although, you guys will see this first, because I'm going to ASAP get this out to you guys, because maybe your best character got buffed, and you want to see him ASAP. I'm going to get to that. It's just down. Just uh, bear with me for a second, or skip ahead, or whatever. I don't care. As long as you, like, subscribe to all that stuff, I don't... It doesn't bother me. Um, anyway, I hate talking about that, but I just kind of have to. Or else no one does it. It's, it's sad, but it is what it is. Uh, the ability to swap side and neutral attack. Yeah, that's actually incredible, because I might do that on Batman. Although that might gum up my muscle memory, but it might be worth it. Because I will try... I'll, my muscle memory will go to Soul Calibur, where there's always a neutral attack on every character. And sometimes you'll see me go, eh, 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 because I already threw Batman's Batarang. And you'll hear, eh, 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 because his Batarang's out. And it will happen with Joker as well. Because so I don't think Joker has a neutral attack. It'll be his card attack. So he'll be going, eh, eh, eh. I assume that's what that means. I could be wrong, though. Because, yeah, sometimes you don't want it just a basic attack to be your throw. Because that might be the, the move you use way less than that. In addition of adjustable input buffer settings will keep you posted on timing. Let's dive in and see what's new in this patch. Lower pause it on all hits by 10% in 1v1. Not entirely sure what they mean by that, but 1v1 feels fine to me. Playing it, although it did seem a little different, I don't know if I actually like that. I don't know, though. Players can now try all fighters in training mode, including fighters they do not own. They should have... Whoops. Oh, dang it, I forgot this happens with Steam. My bad. That was me with the highlighting. This is why I generally don't do it here, but I'm just going to jankly do it today because I'm low on time. It is what it is. 
Well, I hate to mention that, but like I'm just gonna say it how it is. Uh, players can now try them in the fighting mode with their own. Yeah, this, how was this ever not a thing? The game always had that before. They went for some scummy money grab. That's not cool. It was not cool. You don't you don't ever make your next product. You, yeah, you never make your release product weaker than your your pre-release product. Yet um, Marvel Snap did that. And other ones shouldn't. They had features that were in the base one that weren't in the full release. That's just corporate getting in the way of truly, truly great things. And that's not okay. That's not okay. Anyway, Battle Pass XP will now be granted for each PvP match in addition to event and missions. PvP wasn't granting Battle Pass XP before? Wow, that's horrific. Ah, uh, well, good thing they fixed that, but I think this is still only on a win, but I could be wrong. That might be why my, um, honor points are kicking up. Anyway, bug fixes. Fix an issue where players could not complete daily rewards in Rifts mode. Fix an issue that was impacting performance on Xbox. Fix an issue, fix an issue where beam visuals were occasionally visible on PlayStation. Fix an issue where certain keyboard configurations will cause phantom inputs and matches. Fix an issue where um, pause input conflicts in training. There's characters, legend, buff, nerf, change, attack, callouts, reference, default, controls. Arya, this may explain why I saw Arya recently. She got buff, dash attack, reduced input buffer, window for follow up attacks. That's just a change, they're saying. It's not a buff or a nerf. Okay, I'll take their word for that, because that could be both, I would say. Banana Guard. Banana Guard seemed very overpowered. The goal... This is why people were using Banana Guard last. He did get nerfed. The goal of this change is to reduce the extreme kill power on Banana Guard's side specials. Yeah, that was insane. And bring it more in line with the damage of the rest of the cast. Aerial side special. Reduce damage from 10 to 12. Ground special, reduced damage from 12 from 14. Bugs Bunny, fixed issue causing the safe to hit repeatedly and rapidly in succession. Yeah, that's... Okay, whatever. They're claiming that was a bug. Okay. Down special, fixed issue where Granat would cause the enemy to be frozen at the end of her star grab. Wait, I actually saw that happen. That was a glitch, apparently. Gizmo, up special. Ally attached down um ally attached cooldown now begins when Gizmo detaches from his ally instead of beginning when detach when Gizmo attaches to his ally. Okay, let's see what happened with Iron Giant here. I feel horrible for you giant Iron Giant means. He's such a cool thing to have in a game. Like there's almost no games with him. If this isn't the first game with him. Although maybe he had one way back when this movie came out. The goal of these changes is to prevent Iron Giant from Chaining certain sets of attacks infinitely. Yeah, he seemed pretty nuts when I last got wrecked by him. But that was cool because he was useless before. While these fixes address some of the issues on Iron Giant, it will require additional fixes to bring Iron Giant fully back online. Iron Giant will remain down for repairs until those fixes are implemented in a future patch. Yeah, they're saying he was so insanely broken that it take him away from ranked mode entirely. I don't know how I feel about that. Ground attack, knockback angle is now more horizontal. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was messed up. Some characters have diagonal strikes rather than just straight up horizontal and vertical. So any character that has that was inherently far more powerful. That's why Wonder Woman is so powerful right now. Aerial neutral attack. Final hit now always knocks away regardless of change. Yeah, I bet they batted more delay to Joker's shock. Because I was just getting wrecked after I d did that lately. Ground side attack. Jab, first hitbox is slightly smaller. Um... Rage Mode Pilot Special reduces strobing visual effects. Rage Mode Up Special reduces final hitbox damage to 5 from 6. So yeah, Weakened, that's a nerf. Um, I guess I did that thing again. Okay, I need to not highlight in this period. I apologize if that helps you guys. Highlighting is causing that glitch. Because whenever it stretches out of the box, it just goes away for some silly coding reason. They're saying this is a nerf. This is a nerf. Right there, right there. Okay. Jake, fixed, fished, uh, fixed issues with game performance. Sorry, I didn't apparently not speak. 
fixed an issue where one player would disappear when Jason grabbed two players with the sleeping bag. LeBron basketball can now only hit one time per target. Wow, they had to nerf LeBron? He was really strong in 2v2. Dang, dude. He still was strong. I still played against LeBron. He's still strong. Wow. Are they just fat? Like, is this... Is this overpowered in 1v1? That's what I question. Although I think everything should be a one hit hit in this game. Because so you can actually dodge it. Otherwise you'll dodge one hit and then be hit by the rest of the moves. Which is overpowered as frick. Fix an issue where Marvin could ring out opponents instantly due to side special projectile interaction with neutral attack. Wow. Marvin was super overpowered. Although I, didn't, I don't think many people knew that. I may have lost to that. Maybe. I don't know. If that was pre-nerf or after-nerf. Rain Dog I haven't even seen since the game came back. Rain Dog I really enjoyed in the, uh, the beta of the game. Aerial side attack. Knockback angle is now more horizontal. Aerial up attack. Knockback angle is now more horizontal. That might be better or worse. They say it's a no, indifference. Shaggy. Now Shaggy seemed kind of OP. Dude, this is sus. How are these not nerfs? The goal of this change is to not allow neutral air attack combo back into the jab combo of all damage levels. There are feel issues introduced with this change that will address this next patch. Interesting. So yeah, Shaggy OP. Base, base knockback increases 1700 from 1300. This was a... Is, how's that not a buff? I don't know. Knockback scaling increased to 14 from 13. That sounds like a buff too. Scaleback angle is more horizontal. That could be a nerf. I'm guessing this is um positive drawbacks is what they mean by that. I don't know. They explained it and it still doesn't make any sense why they're doing it, but whatever. On hit cancel window delayed by 10 frames. That sounds like all nerfs, but whatever game. Aerial up attack. Sweet spot hit delayed one frame later to match when Steve has his hands clapped together. Yes, yeah, Steven Universe is, I think, a pretty good character to bounce around. He seems very... Like, you have to be a high skill player, but he's very powerful. At least against my Joker. Like, he can destroy me. Uh, aerial down attack. On hit, cancel, window, delayed by three frames. Aerial down. Wow, they nerfed his downward kick by three frames. Probably necessary. A stripe. Aerial down attack. More downward momentum is maintained on attack startup. Oh, good. Above the Taz. People are saying Taz was the weakest. Wait, now I might actually unlock him. Increased on non-cooldown tornado final hit to 8 from 7. Yeah. Good. They buffed his damage a bit. The problem is the tornado can just be hit cancelled. I don't know if that actually helps Taz. I don't know, though. Till actual rank modes are made. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's lasso was a bit too oppressive to play against without any limiter, so we decided to add a short cooldown to the ability. Well, that's what that new pop-up I saw was. Aerial ground special attack. Added an 8 second cooldown for lasso. They made it like a gadget. Yeah, Wonder Woman was overpowered probably. I mean, this just proves it. Like, she is insanely awesome. It's because she has diagonal attacks. I don't know how this is rocket science for these people, but it's really not. Thumbs up. So I apologize to if your favorite character got nerfed, but it's a necessary thing. Because, like, Rain Dog, where was he ever played? I've never seen a Rain Dog. He needs to be extremely buffed, probably, but uh, let's just hope they baby step in the right direction. I think they have here. Balancing around Steven Universe sounds like a great idea. I think all characters should be around his strengths. And, yeah, it's really cool. But, like, there's just certain mechanics these other characters don't have. Like, uh, I don't know why they're so passive with these changes, but... Whatever, they're, they're seeing data I'm not seeing. I've not watched everybody playing as other characters. I just remember from 22, and I can tell you what, who I haven't seen. Taz was extremely rare. I, I don't think I've ever seen a PvP Taz. I don't think I have. In, in the current release of the game. I've been Taz before in the other ones. Taz was tons of fun. I'm super sad that he's not super high tier. It makes me not want to get him, but we're still a ways off here. 
as you can see there. And uh, for the next character. And yeah, apparently Joker wasn't changed according to this. That is sh absolutely shocking to me. But after playing high tier, I'm also very shocked Batman wasn't changed. So that means Batman could always do that combo I was seeing. Because yeah, I uh, look forward to it. I have amazing content coming up. It may be a few days out. We'll see uh, how many uploads I want to... Well, I have time to do per day. Um, I've been outputting a ton to you guys. Hopefully that doesn't bother you. But it's just been necessary because I'm making the thumbnails as I go to free it to then delete the videos off of my hard drive to send it up. And I, of course, back up all this goodness on YouTube and physical hard drive. Because that's just where it's at. These games with Kevin Conroy and Mark Ham, all those ones. I'm gonna try to preserve for history. And uh, see you next time, everybody. Like, sub subscribe, do all that stuff, but you don't have to do it at all. And as always, may your tail eternally. Be retold, but it'll stop. Well, I can still talk, but I gotta get gameplay out. Because we don't stop. <laughs> Stay awesome, Gotham. Keep on shining, Metropolis. I already said the other youtube stuff you can do. You can do that if you want. Pause the video to do so now. And uh, watch out, Themyscira. is strong. Apparently too strong. But I can tell you it's still incredibly awesome and a threat. I've used Wonder Woman post-patch. It's really freaking fun. Uh, should I just show that off real quick? I think I think so. My gut says to do that. I'm going to do it. Uh, why can't I see the game? I guess I'm seeing a black screen for no reason right now. Game, can you function as intended? There we go. It took it a second. It took it a second. Wonder Woman, I can easily prove. The other stuff is frame rate, and I'm not going to... I don't. I would need extra software for that, which I never install in these games, because I don't think you should be able, um, allowed to, because I don't... Like, I don't know what scans this does. We're looking for malicious software. Oh, yeah. They need to add Joker's um, passive. Oh, I need to send that into them. I, I always give a company one major patch. This was this was the major patch. Joker's passive should say, when you crouch, switch between your suit of cards. When does it ever say that? And that should just be down here, too. Even if it is unclear in here. I'll look closer at that. But this is about Wonder Woman. Let's change character. Oh, I can also show you this. See, they actually did change this stuff. You can play as any character now. Except for... I thought this seemed wrong, the number of characters it was! Iron Giant's gone! Oh, I miss him. I hope he returns soon. I think I played him a little bit. I did want to unlock him. Because what other game can you play freaking Iron Giant in? Although there are new of these, if you haven't seen this yet. There are new Jason outfits. That's super cool. Uh, those were glitched, I think, and not displaying before. Let's just hop into Wonder Woman. I want a new 52 outfit. Wait, we actually have this one to show off. You guys... Have I shown this before? This might be a sneak peek, actually. I'll do a little sneak peek bonus for you guys who watch this video at the end. This Wonder Woman outfit. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, actually, I'm not holding my arcade stick. I mean, absolute silly billy. Because I didn't think I'd actually start this right now, but... Let's grab it up. Give me, like, two seconds. Okay, here we go. Dude, the arcade stick is so fun with this game. Once you get with the custom settings. <laughs> So, or her last, that's not her lasso. The lasso is neutral special. Yeah, that is. New cooldown. And there's the animation. I thought I saw a weird animation on Wonder, Wonder Woman. I'm like, what is that? But yeah, that's right. I used to spam, you could see my other gameplay of her. I used to spam her lasso. I was like, what could anyone do to this? Uh, apparently very little. They had to remove it. But yeah, you can, yeah, see? Now I can't infinitely do that combo chain. Uh, that's unfortunate. I hate to see some of these characters weaken, but that was necessary. Because, yeah, that's why Batman became instantly more viable, because now Wonder Woman's being weakened more. Because, yeah, that's the same kind of combo that Batman could do with his Batarang. Actually. I don't call it the lasso of truth for nothing. <laughs> there you go, the perfect taunt. See you next time. Like, sub, subscribe, do all that stuff. But you don't have to do it at all. And uh, see you next time, everybody. Stay Themyscira and strong.